Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys what I did to my vanity. Um, it was an upgrade that I really wanted and that was very much needed. Um, I did film a video of me actually doing the process. My camera is like acting really funny and it just, is, it's just, it's not putting the videos onto my tablet as I like want it so I can edit it. It's, it's just being really weird. I have to figure out the kinks before I use that camera again. So I'm recording on my phone. Um, I'm going to try to walk you through the steps, how I fix my vanity. Um, I'm so sorry guys. I really had a video of like showing you how I did everything, the process, um, and like the struggles I went through and kind of explaining what I did. Um, I'll, I'm gonna fix it, I promise. Um, but in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys what I did to my vanity. I'm gonna show you the before picture, um, and then I'll show you the after. Okay guys, so this is my old, very first vanity. And this is the same vanity, but with the mirror upgraded. Okay guys, so this is my vanity mirror. Um, I got this mirror um, like two years ago from, uh, for my birthday. Um, and it's, it's been with me for a while. I had it on my old vanity, um, and it's been working great. I just needed a lot more counter space. So I'm going to show you guys, I don't know why it's so orange. Sorry. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I did. So, um, so we're going to start with the drawers. So these um, are like Alex drawers dupes. Um, we found these, Xavier found these for me, um, at Walmart. They are, they look exactly like Alex drawers to me. They do the same thing. Um, the only thing is that I used to have little black, um, kind of, cause my vanity was so small. I used to have these, this, but like taller. And so I had like little drawers of like, um, my makeup to like separate it. So that's what I do want to get. I want to get something to like help separate it because it's like a mess right here. Um, but all my makeup's moved in. I love them. They were very, very easy to um, build. The only issue I had with these was <laughs> the stupid nails on the, the bottom of this like cork stuff. That was my honestly the hardest part. But other than that, it was fairly easy so the tabletop itself is the linmon um tabletop from ikea i bought some um contact paper from amazon it was fairly easy um it actually the size worked out perfectly i did not have to like cut it into like two different pieces or like section it off and like put it all on it it was actually fairly easy it was actually bigger than the actual tabletop um, i literally just like folded it over um you can kind of see here to like the back let me zoom in properly yeah so i just like folded it over and it it's like works great only struggle I had with this um I will end up gluing it it's just I just push this back right now Hold on. okay I will end up like putting them together like officially but we're just waiting to move um because it's easier to move in two pieces than the whole thing glued together or I might just leave it like this I don't know um the only thing I had a struggle with is that these are made for the Alex drawers I don't know if this is the same problem with the Alex drawers, but I did have this gap in between like the front and like the back of the tabletop. So I could have easily like put it in the middle, but I felt weird not having them like right out on the edge. I don't know. Like I just like it like right here on the edge. <laughs> um, so it was a little weird. So I did try making legs out of PVC pipes. Um, and I spray painted them black and I made them all pretty and I, um, I used the cap for the PVC pipe and I just had it up here and like drilled a hole in it. It wasn't as sturdy as I liked it and it was actually a little bit taller than the actual drawers themselves. So I had to, so like there was like a little gap right here in between like, it, it ended up making the tabletop taller and there was a gap in between this the drawer and the tabletop so I absolutely did not like it so I found these on Amazon they're just hairpin um table legs it came in a set of four so I'm only using two of course um and they just drilled in very nicely um to the top of the 
the tabletop. So in the end, it ended up working pretty nicely. It's not like falling over like it was like a little seesaw up here before. Um, so I found the contact paper on Amazon. Um, again, it was fairly easy. I'll put the dimensions down at the bottom if you guys want to do something like this. And they had like multiple different designs and everything, but I really wanted to do like the classic white with black marble. I think it looks so cute. Yeah, I literally just like peeled the back and like stuck on little bits at a time. Um, I did struggle a little bit with the edges, like working this edge with this edge with the other edge. Like it was a little bit hard um, to kind of like fold it over, but it, at the in the end, it was like it was a fairly easy like fix. Um, I just had to like keep like pulling on this end since the bottom wouldn't really care what it looked like I just had to like keep pulling on the end to like make sure there was no bubbles because bubbles kept forming like right here and it was so annoying but I finally got most of them out I used like a little gift card I had and I just doo -doo 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 to all the the bubbles as I was like placing it and I smoothed it out and it's so nice I am absolutely obsessed with it and it all came together years of trying to make the perfect vanity and this is the perfect vanity for me and I'm obsessed with it and I did keep my a set of those little drawers that I had all my makeup stored in before but I am very happy with how this turned out so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed again I'm so sorry I didn't have the whole process on there for you and you can watch my struggles <laughs> um, but um, I will try to get that camera situation fixed and then for now I'm just gonna use my phone um, but I hope you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one bye